And it has been an absolute thrill traveling around the country, getting the chance to meet people from every walk of life, every demographic group, every region of the country. And we've been attracting these enormous crowds. Look at these folks over on the other side of the river. Good to see you guys. I love that sign. <laughs> but we have been attracting 20,000 people in Atlanta, 20,000 people in, in Austin, Texas, 12,000 in Oakland, 8,000 in Cleveland, and everywhere we go, uh, when I see these crowds, I have to take a moment to reflect on how on earth did I get to be standing be before this many people. And, and I think back to my first political race. Because I now live in Chicago, but many of you know that I'm not originally from Chicago. I actually moved there after college because I had been inspired during college by the Civil Rights Movement. And I had been inspired by the, by the idea of young people getting involved to make the country better, getting involved at a grassroots level. And although I have been too young, I've been too young to participate in the Civil Rights Movement myself. I thought that there was something noble about believing in the American people enough uh, to work, not from the top down, but from the bottom up. And so I moved to Chicago where a group of churches had gathered together to deal with uh, this devastation of steel plants that had closed in the region. Tens of thousands of people had been laid off of work. And these churches had come together, formed an organization to try to rebuild the community, set up job training programs for the unemployed and after school programs for youth. And they didn't have a lot of money, so all they could afford to hire was me. <laughs> and they paid me $12,000 a year plus car expenses. And I have to tell you, you wouldn't want to drive in this car that I had. And for the next three years, I worked with folks to, to give opportunity to people who had been laid off of work and to try to give children a chance. And it was the best education that I ever had. Because during those three and a half years, I learned that ordinary people can do extraordinary things when they're given an opportunity. That, that ordinary Americans want to make a difference. They want to be involved in their communities. They want to be involved in their neighborhoods. They want to have a say about how their government operates. And I took that lesson with me when I went back to law school. And when I got out of law school, I ran a voter registration drive, helped get 150,000 new voters registered to help Democrats get elected in 1992. And I started a civil rights practice, and I started teaching constitutional